Of course, not all children had to work in Victorian factories. Some were made to clean our chimneys. So, what seems to be the problem? Her ladyship believes there may be some sort of blockage in the chimney. Mm, right. Well, let's have a look, see, shall we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely something blocking it. Not to worry, though. I think a number six should clear it. Number six! Yes, Gov? Get up, dear. Right-ho. Remember what I told you? Try not to die. That's the spirit, yeah. Nice clock. I think I found the blockage. Oh, good boy. <coughs> yeah, just as I thought. You had a bit of chimney sweep stuck up there. Yeah, I think we got it all out now. Hang on, go, there's a bit more here. <coughs> oh, dear. Of course, something else has jammed up here pretty good. Problem is, see, unlike, say, your screwdriver or your spanner, your chimney sweep has an annoying tendency of growing older and getting bigger. You know, once they start getting jammed up there, you've got to replace them, mate. Oh, I think I've got it. <coughs> no one saw a thing. Is he one of yours? No, go. The Victorians made children do all sorts of jobs, but they also invented lots of technology. Electricity, the railway, steel ships, the car, the radio, postage stamps, movies, the light bulb, and the first ever telephone. Ha! Presumably the phone number was easy to remember, as it would only be one. <laughs>